Are you a DIY fan? Watch this video to find a lot of creative ideas for your coolest DIY projects. In our tutorial, we'll make a baby boy scrapbook. We'll need color cardstock, patterned paper, plain thick cardboard, fabric, photos, note paper, decorative supplies, multi-purpose glue, and double-sided tape. Take several A5 color cardstock pieces. Fold a patterned paper strip in half across the length. We'll need it to join the cardboard pages. Use white glue. The ornament will add some variety to the flat design. Attach another page to the other side. The Z Fold scrapbook base is ready. Let's make a cover. Wrap the plain cardstock with fabric. Add some multi purpose glue and fold the cloth. We've nearly made the cover. Add some multi-purpose glue and conceal the attachment places with the color cardboard. Now, join the base with cover parts. Use the patterned paper and the white glue this time. Let's attach the baby boy photos. Use double-sided tape. You may stick a note paper next to the picture. Add some decorative details to the front cover. The Baby Boy Scrapbook will keep the pictures filled with the first touching emotions. Today, we'll change a tradition and create a round page scrapbook design. We'll need color cardstock, embellishments, ribbon, and scrapbook paper. Let's start with a page template. Draw a circle on cardboard. Use a pair of compasses. Cut it out. Turn over the scrapbook paper. Place a template and trace. Cut it out. Make different patterned pages. Fold the circles in half with the pattern on the inside. Add paper glue to one side. Attach another detail on top. Continue gluing the circles to form scrapbook pages. Now, take a paper strip folded in half for a scrapbook spine. Attach to cover the page edge. Cut off the excess. Take two pieces of color cardboard for a cover. Join the sheets and punch a hole in about the middle. Add glue to the last page. Attach to the back cover, placing the spine opposite the hole. Repeat for the front. Let's decorate the front cover. Start with the background. Add bright colors. Mm. 
Place a funny tag in the center. Attach embellishments to the corners inside the cover. Use multi-purpose glue. Pass a ribbon through the hole to keep the scrapbook shut. The round page scrapbook design is a fresh substitution for a standard album style. Today, we'll show how to make a charming baby boy card in a marine style. We'll need white embossed cardstock, scrapbook paper, color cardboard, and embellishments. Take blue cardboard folded in half as a card base. Measure out about 3 inches beyond the bottom on marine pattern paper. Cut it out following the wave line. Mark the cover borders and cut off the excess. Attach to the cover bottom using white glue. Draw a circle of about 3 inches diameter on white embossed cardboard. Use compasses. Cut it out. Repeat the circle on the back side of scrapbook paper. Draw another circle about an inch bigger with the same center. We need it to sketch semicircle petals. Cut out the flower. Outline a ship hull shaped as a semicircle on funny dotted paper. Cut it out. Make sails shaped as two right triangles with other patterns. We'll need a mast as well. Attach the ship parts to the circle. The hull first, then the mast. And finally, the sails. Cut out the part of the mast beyond the circle. Draw a small flag on red paper. Cut it out. Stick it on top of the mast. You can add a detail to the hull. Attach the flower above the waves. Add a tag background to the right part of the card. Use scrapbook paper. Stick the wording on top. Attach double-sided foam tape to the back of the ship circle. Thus, we'll create a 3D effect. Adhere the flower on top to see the petals. You can add a few embellishments like spangles or buttons. Attach a sheet for wishes inside. The lovely baby boy card will be a pleasant little gift for a young mother. The amusing ship card will recall the happy days years after. Today, we'll show how to make an awesome pregnancy announcement card using safety pins. We'll need color cardboard and paper scrapbook paper and tags, safety pins of different sizes, ribbon and pearl halves. Add white glue to scrapbook paper. Attach to color paper of a bigger size. We should prepare a cardboard background. We'll need four similar squares of around two by three inches. Attach the squares to a piece of cardboard. Place two elements on top and another two on the bottom, leaving a bit of space between for a tag. Now, play safety pins. Each square shows a story about a significant life moment of a family. We'll define a future baby with a small pin. The next square shows a birth. And finally, there are three of them, dad, mom, and a baby. Attach the pins with a hot glue gun. Be careful to keep your fingers safe. Change a pin shape to symbolize a pregnancy. Attach a ribbon between the pictures. 
Prepare a tag. Match the tag and background. Use white glue, as usual for paper elements. Attach the tag on top of the ribbon in the center. Add pearl halves. You can use any embellishments you wish. Put a note sheet inside. Attach the main pinned background to the front of the card. The original pregnancy announcement card with a hint will bring your message to a recipient better than words. In our tutorial, we'll make a lovely rabbit card quickly and easily. We'll need colored cardboard and patterned paper. Lay a cutting board. Take the patterned paper. Turn it over and mark off half inch strips. Use a ruler and a pencil. Cut out the strips with a craft knife. It's a quick and easy way. Place the strips on a piece of paper. Use white glue. Attach the strips next to each other without gaps, alternating thin and wide elements of different colors. Draw a rabbit silhouette. Start with the body, resembling an oval. Then add a head and ears. Cut it out. Place the rabbit on the striped background. Trace the stencil. Cut it out again. Make a card base. Fold the color cardboard in half. Attach a piece of light cardstock onto the front side. Stick the rabbit in the center. Don't forget a message paper. Done! We've made a bright and festive rabbit card. You only need to add a few words, and a lovely greeting will become a pleasant surprise to the recipient. Leave your comments, share your ideas, and stay with us. Subscribe to our channel and find new ideas for unusual holiday gift decorations.